A student's been stabbed in a canteen fight at a southern suburbs high school. The victim was rushed to hospital after the violent clash with a younger student that police say was sparked by an ongoing feud. A cafeteria turned crime scene. I saw the student being attacked with a knife and then I watched him run through the canteen doors. It was terrifying, but I didn't know if he was going to turn around and go for one of us or not. A student stabbed with what witnesses say was a steak knife. A school in lockdown. So ran through the canteen, ran out. I think he got stabbed, like, out front over there. It was just before 11 this morning, recess time at Gilmore College, when the Year 9 student allegedly lunged at a Year 12 boy with a steak knife, stabbing him twice in the back. It's understood the 14-year-old then chased the senior student into the cafeteria with the knife, teachers forced to intervene. Minutes later, police and ambulance crews arrived. The injured student rushed to Royal Perth Hospital. His alleged attacker taken into custody for questioning. An hour later, parents received this text from the school, warning of the incident but assuring them their children were safe. Some not willing to risk it, collecting their kids early. It's pretty frightening when your kid comes home and says, oh, you know, we were all locked up in the classroom because a kid went on a rampage. It's not clear what prompted the attack, but parents are now pushing for more protection. Security guards or police to walk around the classes. Schools now need to implement some sort of safety measures, whether it's bag searches every morning, metal detectors. I feel like we're becoming a mini America. In news, Justin, a 14-year-old from Callista, has been charged with unlawful wounding. Whether he will be suspended or expelled isn't clear, but school will return tomorrow as usual. But security will not be increased. The Department of Education saying it's not necessary because it is an isolated incident. As for the injured Year 12, well, he is stable, but he remains at Royal Perth Hospital. He'll spend the night there as doctors monitor his injuries. Michael. Terrifying incident. Lucy, thank you.